In this video, we'll be taking a look at six different chart analyses to get you prepared for the week ahead. If you love the content, please like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you're interested in learning to trade forex like a professional, check out our course on Udemy. We've done a great job at breaking down what forex is all about and giving you all you need to become a profitable trader. And right now, we are currently having a sale going on. Okay, you get over 50% off on the course. So use the link in the description below if you're interested in learning to trade forex like a professional. Without further ado, let's get started. So on my screen here, there's a gold chart on the six hours time frame. So I start with this time frame because we want to spot out the current trend and the potential price direction for this coming week. You can see we are currently in a bullish trend. So we had one bounce, two bounce, and we had a third bounce off of this trend line. Right now, we seem to be coming closer to the trend line again, but I think we are likely going to break uh, through the trend line. Aiming, uh, aiming for lower price targets. So we're going to go down to the lower time frame to focus on this price action over here to see how we can spot our good trade opportunities for the week ahead. So moving on to the two hours time frame. So let's start from the two hours time frame. What you can see is that you can see a build up of a bearish trend, right? So this is our all time highs. So you can see price creating lower lows and lower um, highs coming all the way down to this green trend line. Uh, we draw on the, uh, on the daily time frame okay so that's the line um carrying out the bullish trend okay meanwhile we have a bearish trend on the two hours time frame let me go down to the one hour time frame so this is clearly visible so we have a bearish trend on the one hour time frame sending some bearish pressure down to these price levels so last week we took a sell trade around this area of value because this was an important area with multiple price rejection and the nfp results played along with this price action and we had a very good sale trade opportunity so right now on the one hour time from this order we're watching out for to either go long or short on gold but mind you i am more likely to look for an opportunity to go short uh, you know on gold rather than going long so right now i'm going to be waiting for a consolidation so we might get price you know bouncing off this green line again but going back up with a very good consolidation within these price levels and then a bearish breakout. So if this happens, this is going to be my scenario to go short on gold, right? So if we get price tapping to this green trend line and consolidating just on the trend line with a bearish breakout, this would be my scenario to go long, uh, sorry, to go short on gold, right? Aiming for lower price target. So obviously our first uh, price target is going to be this lows. Then we're going to trail the rest of our position as we go lower. So this one case scenario. So remember, trading is all about probability. So there's a probability we go up, there's a probability we go down. But we are going to analyze the technical analysis in front of us in order to determine the direction of the price action. Okay, the direction with the highest probability for us to pick our trade entries. So that's what price action and technical analysis is all about. It's all about probability. So you look for the direction that has the higher probability of you know becoming a success for you to determine your trade entries. So this is one case scenario. So another case scenario is waiting for, you know, some sort of bounce back into this area of value. You can see we had one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have multiple price rejection of this level with good volume candle breaking through this level one. And we have another one here. So this validates the fact that this is a very important area of value. So if we get a break back above this area of value and a consolidation above, you know, retesting as support, getting a good consolidation, then a bullish move, this would be my scenario to go long on gold because this area of value must have held its ground for price to go higher. So remember, I'm going to wait for a break back above this area of value. Then I'm going to wait for a consolidation just on top of this area of value, just as we had here. So you can see this price action over here. Right, you can see how it led to this massive bullish move to the upside. So, this is what I'll be watching out for over here to go long if this happens. So, another scenario to go long would be you know, um, waiting for price to excuse me, we'll be waiting for price to come into this trend line. So, let's say we tap into this trend line, then we get some slow build up back above, then we break this area of value, retest our support, then go higher. So, this would be my scenario to go long because this confirms the fact that we would be heading higher okay so all this um, will play out if this area of value holds to be true okay holds to be a valuable area of value so this will be my scenario to go long so the reason why i'm giving this case scenario is that 
just in case you see a slow you know uh, price action uh, price movement to this trend line shouldn't make you um, you know think the trend line is going to break right or shouldn't make you jump into a sell trade because we might go higher and you should don't just go long when we tap into this area because we could break out so that's the reason why our confirmation will be waiting for price to tap into this green trend line reversing to the upside and using this area of value as a support level so breaking back above retesting the support level and then moving higher just as we did here you can see um, just a case study when we broke through this area of value we consolidated a little we tapped into this trend line we went higher used this area of value as support right before we head higher you see so this is something similar we'll be watching out for a year to play out for us to go long right for this coming week so maybe in two weeks time we might you know break above this area of value or this resistance level then we're going to take a proper look at price action for a brand new analysis but for now this week this is what i'm watching out for to trade gold on a one hour time frame mind you we are currently being oversold right so that's the reason why i think we might see a slow you know grind towards this trend line maybe we may not touch the trend line um accurately but we might also get there but just a slow consolidation around these price levels right then a bullish breakout to the upside a retest of this area of value and a bullish move so this would be my scenario to go long if indeed we would be going long on gold this would give the rsi enough room to you know move back to the safe zone for higher price targets so lastly i'm going to review my short uh case scenario so an, an opportunity to go short on gold so the opportunity will be waiting for price to slowly come into this trend line right then consolidate a little on the trend line right then get your bearish, bearish breakout to go short so this pattern here would simply signify a bearish continuation pattern so a bearish continuation pattern as a result of this massive decline right so this bearish continuation pattern on the trend line with a bearish breakout signifies price would be heading lower so this would be my scenario to go um short okay so even if it doesn't happen like this it might happen like this okay so we have different probabilities different case scenario so it could come slowly down here retest this area of value as resistance then dump hard so this would also could also be another case scenario to go short right but if you get a bearish and graphic candle here for example and you go short at this price level your stop loss is going to be just above the consolidation or the reversal candlestick that leads to the bearish movement so if you go short around this price level then when by the time price gets to this trend line then you adjust your stop loss to your entry to block the trade okay so you run a trade at a risk free environment because if we come into this trend line there's a good chance we might reverse so adjusting your stop loss to this entry would help you safeguard your trade just in case we reverse but best case scenario is that we might break through this trend line aiming for lower price target so that's it briefly for gold moving on we're talking about gbb usd so gbb usd real quick this is a four hours time frame and something interesting is happening with this currency pair so you can see clearly we are currently in a bullish uh, trend so we have price making higher highs higher lows we had a significant area of value over here and we had higher price movements but right now we seem to have made a lower low you can see the low made here took out all these lows right and now we made a high a lower high as well so this high is lower than this high so i'm going to zoom in a little so you see what i'm talking about clearly so this is the price action we have on gbp usd so in the four hours time frame we made a lower low this low lower than all these lows over here that led to this you know swing high so now we made another lower high lower than this high so there's a good chance we might be creating a stronger bearish trend over um here on this currency pair and this bearish trend might lead to price coming back into you know uh, so coming back slowly into this area of value so we are going to look for opportunities to go long so i'm going to show you what i'm watching out for to go short on gbusd or to go long just in case this is just a continuation of this bearish move okay so going down to the lower time frame excuse me i'm going to get rid of this so going down to the lower time frame i'm going to go down to the one hour time frame as usual where we're going to be you know taking our trade positions remember we do analysis on multiple higher time frames focus on taking trade positions on the lower time frame that high trade and it's been effective and i think you should try that multiple time frame analysis we have a video on youtube teaching about multiple time frame analysis i think it's going to help you a lot 
check our page for that video and take advantage of whatever I teach in that video. So moving on, uh, this GBUSD one hour time frame. So for me to go long, I'm going to wait for price to slowly go back above this resistance level, consolidate a little, and then give us a breakout. So a breakout from this resistance level would be my scenario to go long, right? So excuse me, would be my scenario to go long, and my entry is going to be around the breakout. Stop loss is going to be below the consolidation at least to the breakout. And first target is going to be around these highs while I trade the rest of my position. So this is how I'm going to go long on GBB USD. Okay. So for a short position, I'm going to wait for something like this. I'm going to get rid of this. Excuse me. So for a short position, I'm going to be very, very patient with this because GBB USD can be very, very crazy sometimes. So I'm going to wait for price to slowly come into this trend line, consolidate at this trend line and give us a bearish breakout. This is how I'm going to trade GBB USD for a short position. Other than this, I am not going to, you know, take any sell trade on GBB USD. I know some persons or some traders would like to draw a trend line like this. You know, they would like to draw a trend line like this and go short because they feel, oh, the trend line has been broken. There's a good chance to come here and go lower, right? I'm going to show you something tricky right now. So if you take a look at these price levels, so if you take a look at this resistance level, you would notice we are currently around a very good area of value. Yes. So this is an area of value. So even if you draw a trend line like this with a breakout, there's still this area of value to contend with, right? So price could eventually just, you know, come here, go up, come here, go up, you know, taking out retail traders, okay? Traders that usually trade on a lower time frame, as low as 15 minutes time frame. Take them out before it decides its direction either to go up or go lower so that's why the two most important key levels on this chart is this area of value here so this resistance level is one of the key important price levels and this trend line here so these are the two important key levels on this chart right now for me to consider taking a trade and my first uh, case scenario to go long would be waiting for price to do its thing okay price action to do its thing come to this resistance level then give us a breakout so this will be my scenario to go long in line with the bullish trend right well this uh the bullish on the four hours time frame okay well to, for a short position i'm going to uh, simply wait for price to do whatever i want to do come into this trend line consolidate a bit too and give us a bearish breakout so I'm going to consider going short from this trend line or go long from this resistance level. So that's it briefly for GBUSD. Other than this, I'm not going to trade within this range. Okay, It's just going to chop off traders of the market. And I'm not going to be one of those traders who are going to get chopped off. So once again, if you're interested in learning to trade forex like a professional, I teach price action. Like I taught a lot about price action in the course. You are going to learn a lot. So use the link in the description below to get that discount. Moving on, we're going to talk about AeroUSD, another interesting chart, just like we had on GBUSD, massive bullish move to the upside. This is still a bullish trend in my opinion because we have a base here. So we have one, two, three, four, so multiple price rejection off of these lows. And I think there's a good chance we consolidate a little and head lower coming to this area of value before we head higher. So this is what I'm going to be watching out for for AeroUSD. So this is six hours chart. Six hours time frame, I'm going to go down to the lower time frame. Let's try the two hours time frame to spot out good trade opportunities for the week ahead. Excuse me. So, Aero USD right now, we seem to be grinding slowly within this bearish trend. So, this bearish trend on the two hours time frame, okay, let me just go to the one hour time frame so it's clearly visible, right? So, this bearish trend might be difficult to trade because the consolidations are not well defined. So, you have to be very patient to get good setup in this kind of, you know, uh, market environment. So, right now, you can see we had a consolidation here, a breakout, search your opportunity. We actually took these trades, right? So, this is a consolidation, a breakout, search your opportunity. So, I didn't take this trade here. What I did was to take this trade here. So, I took the trade here. But I had a big stop loss because I knew for a fact that we we're going lower, right? So this is a bearish continuation pattern. I took a short here. My stop loss was just around these price levels here, and we head lower. So that's it for areas briefly on the one hour time frame. So for me to go short, I wouldn't be going long right now on areas because going long doesn't make any sense right now. So I know some traders would do this. I know I don't know why traders do this a lot. 
some traders will do this you know um, take this trend line like this and assume this trend line has been broken so it means we are heading higher this is not the case where some traders would also you know draw a trend line like this taking these lows like this and think oh this is a you know bearish breakout and we're going lower that is not the case because these trend lines and these price levels are just invalid the reason is because when you look at the immediate structure leading up to this bearish movement you can see the market is kind of like um unpredictable because we're just going up and down so you see this price action here so th there's a good chance something like this happen not until you get a clear pattern before you go long so what i'll be watching out for i'm going to watch out to see what price does we might come into this level go up consolidate a very good consolidation and a proper breakout for me to go short this is what i'll be watching out for to go short and this will give us a very good support base right give us a very good support base for us to go short this is the only case scenario i'll be watching out for to go short on aero usd i wouldn't be going long on aero usd just for example you can see on the gbb usd chart we just reviewed we have a clear resistance level one two three so this is a clear resistance level and this is a very good level to excuse me to consider going long on if we get a good breakout right but we don't have any clear resistance levels on aero usd right now because even if you take these highs, for example, let's say you take these highs, these highs doesn't correspond with any other level, except you are going to take a range like this. So let's say you take a range like this, right? So this will just be assuming that this is a very important level. Though, yes, we had to, you know, a support level here, turn into a resistance level here, but I wouldn't be going long off of just one price rejection, right? like JBUSD, you can see we have one two three so we have 30 price projections here so this makes it a valuable area of value where i have a higher probability of opening a bad position with the hope that we are going to go higher right it's all about probability you might be wrong but it's good to trade the highest number of probability so on error usd i'm going to wait for a consolidation like this for me to go short even if this consolidation does not happen i'm just going to let the trade go there's enough uh, opportunity on gold and GBS right now to take trades on rather than struggling to tra take trades on AeroUSD. So that's a brief for AeroUSD and my target is going to be around these lows where I'm going to look for opportunities for a buy position just as I showed you on the 4 hours time frame or the 6 hours time frame. So moving on, we're going to talk about USD JPY. Very interesting chart. This is a daily time frame. You can see we had a very massive bullish trend, okay? A massive bullish run from 2021 and we had price rejection of this area of value one two and now it seems we are continuing this bullish trend after this massive price reversal so this trend might continue because we just took out a resistance level so i'm going to go down to the two hours time frame to show you what's happening down here in order for us to spot out our trade opportunities for this coming week right so we have this um, trend line um, taking the lows of the current price action. So one, two, three. So mind you, there's a good chance we come back into this um, trend line where we look for to go long. But before then, we have a very good resistance level to contend with. So even before looking at this price, uh, looking at this price level, we have to pay attention to these price levels. So for me to go long on USDJPY, I'm going to wait for a very good consolidation. So this consolidation is going to be a bullish continuation pattern because the immediate price action before the consolidation over here is a bullish move. You can see price making higher highs and higher lows. So this bullish continuation pattern would be my signal to go long in continuation of the current bullish move. So this might be a bullish flag. It might be a symmetrical triangle with a bullish breakout. It might be a bullish rectangle, however the pattern forms. As far as it's a consolidation and it has a bullish breakout then i'm going to go long because we are also trading above this area of value right not until this area is taken out i'm not going to consider going short because this is clearly a very good bullish trend excuse me <clears throat> so yeah so this is going to be the consolidation i watch out for for me to go long so for now i'm not going to be going short on usjpy i'm going to be going long and if this happens to be true then you can expect some bearish momentum on gold, 
euro usd and you know gbp usd because they have the us dollar as the base currency where us jpy has the us dollar as a quote currency so they are um, negatively correlated so i'm going to wait for a consideration like this and a bullish breakout for me to go long on usd jpy mind you we might also get something like this so excuse me so we might get price rejection coming to retest this area of value consolidate a, a little then before we get that massive bullish move either way i'm going to wait for that consolidation to be fully formed with a good bullish breakout for me to go long so i'm not going to be going short on usgpy i'm only going to consider going um uh, going long yeah i'm not going to be going short on usgpy excuse me i'm only going to consider going long after a good consolidation and a good breakout moving on we're going to talk about usd cad so we seem to be trading within a range for over um it's like eight years now so this 2015 you can see we have a high another high so a double top if you will and we have a bottom so two bounces of the lows so this is currently our range right so one two three four we seem to be heading back to this um, resistance level now so the resistance level of the range so this is a daily time frame and we're going to go down to the lower time frame to see what's happening around this price action for us to spot out opportunities to go long or to go short within this range as the case may be so you can see we had a bullish run and we currently are trading within another range kind of like a bullish continuation pattern but on the daily time frame so i'm going to go down to the two hours chart oh let's start from the six hours chart to see what's happening down here before we go down to the lower time frames to take advantage of this price action so we traded uh uscad last week i dropped the setup where we had a very good sell trade opportunity and played out just fine as expected so this is a six hours time frame and you can see we are currently within another range so we have high uh, we have a high here and that high and we have lows here right so within this range we have another range over here so this is where we would be focusing on because the build up here is what's going to lead to the build up on this uh, larger range and so it's going to lead up to the build up on the daily time frame so we're going to be focusing on what we have over here for us to determine how we're going to take advantage of this trade opportunity for the coming week right so moving down to the one hour time frame so on the one hour time frame we have a range yes and this is where we took advantage of the sell trade opportunity last week where we had over 100 pips in profits right we made over 100 pips in profits man if you're not on our discord try to join our discord it's free we drop lots of setups every week so many professional traders in our discord drop their setups as well there's a lot to learn and there's nothing for you to lose a lot to gain and nothing to lose use the link in the description below to join our discord for free right now okay you can pause the video and do that so USCAD, we seem to be okay this line is here because this is where i had my take profit where i closed my entry after going short over here so right now we seem to be consolidating so i think we're going to consolidate a little more like this and then go lower so if this happens this will be my scenario to go short the reason the only reason why i'm going short is because we are consolidating right within this range so this is a range where we expect a bullish breakout in continuation of the bullish trend we have on the daily time frame okay so you need to understand how multiple time frame analysis works once again check out our multiple time frame analysis video on youtube you're going to learn a lot and you're going to understand these things i'm talking about also if you are not okay with the free content try to get our course it's not compulsory but it's going to help you a lot because all these things are well explained within the uh, within the course right with tons of quizzes and assignments to help you you know understand what's being taught in the course so uscad i'm going to wait for a bearish continuation pattern like this for me to go short aiming for the lows of this channel okay so when we get to the lows of this channel that's where we're going to be more patient so we're going to wait for a confirmation that we're going to reverse from these lows aiming for higher price levels because there's a good chance we get a fake out from this you know um channel right so there's a good chance we get a breakout coming into this low area of value like we saw on the six hours time frame before we go higher so i'm going to switch to the six hours time frame i'm talking about so this is six hours time frame you can see we have a much larger um support level 
on the six hour time frame which is uh this consolidation here a good bounce here and this bounce so there's a good chance we break through this support level on the uh, range in the one hour time frame which is this range here there's a good chance we break the lows and tap into the support level on the six hours time frame so that's why when we get to these lows we have to be very careful about going long on USCAD. meanwhile for now on the one hour time frame we are going to take advantage of what we have on the chart which is waiting for a bearish continuation pattern to go short in continuation of this uh immediate bearish decline right so like i said we're going to wait for a, a bearish continuation pattern it could be a symmetrical triangle with a bearish breakout it could be a bearish flag it could be a bearish rectangle as far as we get a consolidation a bearish breakout from that consolidation that's what i'm going to watch out for to go short on usdcad so the reason why we're waiting for a good bearish breakout from the consolidation is because we excuse me i'm going to get rid of this get rid of this the reason we're waiting for that bearish breakout is because we might equally get a consolidation and then reverse to the upside this is totally possible but it's difficult to tell because you know this is a bearish decline so what's the probability that we reverse immediately upside so speaking about probability there's a good chance we continue this bearish trend after a consolidation that is why i would be waiting for a consolidation and watching out for a bearish breakout in continuation of this you know bearish decline aiming for this lows here this is how i'm going to trade usdcad so when we get here i'm going to be patient enough to wait to see if we make higher highs and higher lows in continuation of a uh, reversal okay as a result of a reversal or to see if we break through these lows coming to these levels where we eventually go higher so that's that this i'm going to trade usdcad if you have questions about this chart join our discord ask your questions in the chat room and i'll be available to respond as swiftly as i can and lastly we're going to talk about usdchf right so this is the usdchf chart on a four hours time frame you can see we have a bullish price movement higher lows and higher highs so right now we seem to have bounced off of this area of value and this is what i'll be watching out for to go long i'm going to watch out for a good consolidation over here and a bullish breakout to go long on chf jpy so i'm going to quickly go down to the lower time frame let's see the one hour time frame so we can clearly see what i'm talking about excuse me i'm going to get rid of this let me get rid of this so on you on uh, chf jpy i don't think there's any reason to consider going short because this is a very significant bullish trend right so i'm just simply going to wait for a good consolidation i think we're going to spend some time consolidating around this price level and then a bullish move to go higher so that bullish breakout is what i'll be watching out for to go long right so this is going to be our resistance level so this is just me anticipating for potential price actions right so this is what i'll be watching out for to go long on chf jpy after bouncing off of this area of value so if this doesn't happen i don't see any reason why i would want to jump into a buy trade on chf jpy because i i just analyzed five different charts with good trade opportunities so if this doesn't give me what i want gold would eventually give me what i want if gold doesn't give me what i want GBUSD will give me what i want okay so in a week i don't i'm not looking forward to taking 10 trades on 10 different currency pay i just need the perfect setup to take at least one good trade and one good trade is enough to make enough profits to end the week so that's why i analyze multiple currency pairs or analyze you know multiple commodities like crude oil i'm not going to talk about crude oil right now maybe next week we do some you know price action crude oil so i trade i analyze excuse me i analyze multiple charts in order for me to spot at the best trade opportunity to execute at least one or two good trades so analyzing these six different charts doesn't mean i'm going to take trades on all of them okay even if all of them gives me good setups i'm going to look for the two best setup for me to trade right because taking those two trades is good enough to make enough profits to end the week so that's it for this week's analysis if you love the content please like subscribe leave your thoughts in the comment section if you are not on our discord join our discord using the link in the description below you are going to learn a lot from professional traders right and if you're interested in learning to trade for us like a professional where i break down price action for you 
use the link in the description below there's a little promo going on don't forget that see you next week